In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Don't know why I looked over there, there's nobody there. Good morning, everyone. We celebrate today in our diocese the feast day of the dedication of our parish churches. We remember how important they are in our development of faith. And we give thanks to God for our buildings, but remembering always that we are the church, the body of Christ. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sin. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the glory of the Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, pour out your grace upon this place and extend the gift of your help to all who call upon you, that the power of your word and of the sacraments may strengthen here the hearts of all the faithful. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me to the entrance of the temple, where a stream came out from under the temple threshold and flowed eastwards, since the temple faced east. The water flowed out from under the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He took me out by the north gate and led me right round outside as far as the outer east gate where the water flowed out on the right hand side. He said, this water flows east down to the Arabah and to the sea and flowing into the sea it makes its waters wholesome. Wherever the river flows all living creatures teeming in it will live fish will be very plentiful, for wherever the water goes it brings health, and life teems wherever the river flows. Along the river, on either bank, will grow every kind of fruit tree, with leaves that never wither, and fruit that never fails. They will bear new fruit every month, because this water comes from the sanctuary, and their fruit will be good to eat, and the leaves medicinal. The word of the Lord. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, 
the holy place where the Most High dwells. The waters of the river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though mountains fall into the depths of the sea. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. Alleluia, Alleluia. I have chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, for my name be there forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Just before the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and in the temple he found people selling cattle and sheep and pigeons, and the money changers sitting in their counters and sitting at their counters there. Making a whip out of some cord, he drove them all out of the temple, cattle and sheep as well scattered the money changers' coins, knocked, over their ta knocked, o knocked their tables over, and said to the pigeon sellers, Take all this out of here, and stop turning my father's house into a market. Then his disciples remembered the words of Scripture, Zeal for your house will devour me. The Jews intervened and said, What sign can you show us to justify what you have done? Jesus answered, Destroy this sanctuary, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews replied, It has taken 46 years to build this sanctuary. Are you going to raise it up there in three days? But he was speaking of the sanctuary that was his body. And when Jesus rose from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the words he had said. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It was a very difficult thing to do um, in the middle of March to lock the doors of St. John's Church. We knew that we were entering into an unknown length of time when we didn't quite know when we would be allowed to open the doors again. And as you know, I celebrated Mass um, here every morning um, to an empty church. But I knew that people were with me in mind and in body and in prayer and in spirit. And we were able to also know that people were joining us via the YouTube and latterly the live stream. My apologies for what happened yesterday, by the way. People who were watching YouTube only got half a Mass because the batteries ran out on the laptop and for some reason the live streaming didn't work from my iPad from St Bernadette's. Oh well, I apologise about that if you're watching today. And I remember the great sense of joy when we were allowed to open the church doors after such a long time. And you may remember a couple of weeks ago at our Sunday Masses and Saturday Masses I spoke about the um, headcount that's going on in our churches at this time. And I'm happy to say that this week we will go over 500 people who have come to church um, this week 
And that's a great symbol and sign of the desire of you, the people of God, to come to this special place, to be nourished by the sacraments of the church, as we heard in our first reading. Because essentially, that's what it's about, is nourishing our hearts and our minds, giving us strength to face the day, giving us strength to face the challenges of life, giving us the strength to face those uncertainties, especially at this time. And that's why the Church encourages us this day to give thanks for these places of worship that we call our parish churches. So we stand and offer our prayers of intercession this day. On this feast of the dedication of our parish churches, we pray for church communities that gather all over our world this day in places of worship and prayer, that the Word of God and the Eucharist may strengthen them in their lives. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Let's pray for our world and its many needs, especially those parts of our world which struggle through other challenges apart from the global pandemic, the challenges of poverty, the challenges of ecological climate change, the challenges of war and terror. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. we pray for ourselves in our journeys of faith, that we may never forget God's love for us in the midst of our lives. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for the sick, we pray for those who care for them. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who have died and those whose anniversaries occur at this time. At this Mass, we remember the deceased clergy who have served St. John the Baptist and St. Bernadette's over the years. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. And we ask for the prayers of Mary, Mother of the Church, as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. We make these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, who is Lord for ever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
May the gifts of your joyful church be acceptable to you, O Lord, so that your people gathering in this holy house may come through these mysteries to everlasting salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. For you have made the whole world a temple of your glory, that your name might everywhere be extolled. Yet you allow us to consecrate yet you allow us to consecrate to you apt places for the divine mysteries. And so we dedicate joyfully to your majesty this house of prayer, built by human labour. Here is foreshadowed the mystery of the true temple. Here is prefigured the heavenly Jerusalem. For you made the body of your Son, born of the tender virgin, the temple consecrated to you, in which the fullness of the Godhead might dwell. For you established the church as a holy city, built upon the foundation of the apostles, with Christ Jesus himself the chief cornerstone, a city to be built of chosen stones, given life by the Spirit, and bonded by charity, where for endless ages you will be all in all, and the light of Christ will shine undimmed for ever. Through him, O Lord, with all the angels and saints, we give you thanks, as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks and praise, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, the deceased clergy who have served St. John's and St. Bernadette's, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
remembering those who are still unable to join us for public masses, joining us on YouTube and live stream. We pray with them an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into their hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Let us pray. Through these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, we pray, instill in our minds an increase of your truth, so that we may constantly adore you in the holy temple and glory in your sight with all the saints. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is in. Have a good day. Everybody.